Hi guys, welcome to part 7 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Don't you find that there is something extremely hallucinating right now on this layout? Almost two months of work and still not a single stairs have appeared yet. And you know how much I am obsessed with stairs. First time ever I go this far into a project without adding at least one stairs. Obviously, duh, it is time to start building some stairs. A new type of stairs. A big stairs, almost 50 centimeters wide, with a new technique. It's not the widest stairs I've made because two seasons ago I made one 86 centimeters wide, but this one is a little more complicated. And then, and then also some other stairs for the Viking village right there, because I need the stairs even in the Viking village to access uh, the water, to access the ocean, to get on different levels, but they are still printing right now. So I will show you in the next hours, in the next days maybe. Who knows? Let me switch to the other camera, guys. Sorry, I'm passing through. And right now, guys, I know there aren't many levels right now on the layout. So where will I put these new stairs? Simply get a look towards the far left side of the layout. And I'm talking about this corner here, guys. I hope you can see the fairy wheel there. This fairy wheel here. I think I will go 12 centimeters high and use the ferry wheel as a background, as I will use uh, other buildings as a background this season. So I will have here this width there. It is around 50 centimeters and I will occupy it entirely with a new type of stairs, new technique never done before a uh, very complicated geometry in some sense, in some meaning. And I will switch to the other camera, guys. And it is a little baroque. But what does it mean, baroque? A baroque design. I will explain it in the next minutes. But uh, right now, this will be known as the part where Every stairs have begun. New stairs, new technique, new everything. But before getting into serious things, let me explain briefly some concepts here. Not mandatory, but I think it will be useful. I've uh, uh, used the, the term Baroque. Baroque. But what is Baroque? What is uh, um, Baroque architecture? Question mark. You certainly know the medieval architecture, the Gothic architecture, very well depicted by Ken Follett in his novel Pillars of the Earth, focused on the construction of the first Gothic cathedral, medieval cathedral in France, obviously. But le let's forget this for a moment. Gothic architecture followed the Romanic architecture what was, in pl what was uh, uh, put in place by uh, Romans during the entire empire in Europe. With the fall of the Roman Empire, started the church to get power in every aspect of the life as uh, in the uh, constructions. So, Gothic construction, uh, medieval construction, uh, very pointy things, very tall building compared to the previous one, used the, the, for the first time some arcs, some not uh, rounded arcs uh, as used by Romans, but uh, some more pointy arcs with the key there in order to support more and more weight and getting more and more towards the sky, okay? 
And the medieval architecture, the Gothic architecture, went all along with medieval times up to 1600. Okay, starting from 1600, they start developing new technique with the ending of the obscure times with the illuminism that will follow with other type of movements. I'm not here for an historic uh, session there, but after the Gothic, the medieval architecture took place, the Baroque architecture. So uh, Gothic up until 1600, 16th century, and so 1500, okay? 16th centuries, starting from the 17th centuries, began a new movement, the Baroque movement, the Baroque architecture. If uh, the Gothic architecture tend to go to higher and higher, tall, 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 tall building with some pointy, with some very well designed, very well formed angles, etc., corners, angles. The Baroque tend to be sinuous. Okay, curvy lines, not very well defined with some freezes here and there. But the password there for Baroque architecture was sinuous, curvy. Okay, some curvy. And also stairs started to be curvy, okay. Not a simple stairs to get access to something getting uh, squared, but very sinuous designs. And I will stop here with some historical uh, lessons. Uh, I need to switch from my standard stairs that are almost gothic standard squared stairs to something sinuous, to something curvy. And curved stairs are the most complicated to do, the most complicated, have, have, the, have the most complicated geometry. Let me go with some standard explanation here. You have always seen me using these pieces of styrofoam to make stairs, to make a square. The stairs going this way. I know they aren't the same width, okay? To go this way. One step, second step, third step. Here. Perfect. Very easy to do using some horizontal technique on overlapping steps one on top of the other and then getting higher and higher, okay? Taller and taller. This is a simple three-step stair. And if I wanted to make some curves to get 90 degrees or get around the corner, I would have simply add a square the platform like that and then went the other way, maybe like this. Imagine this as a, a cube, guys, uh, simply adding a cube there and then continuing with this other direction like this and you obtain a way of getting up from this side, then turning 90 degrees, then getting up and you get squared uh, stairs. Those are the simplest ones to make, use it for centuries, use it for a millennium and still use it uh, nowadays. But this is squared, it's not curved like Baroque architecture, how they went. If I continue using this technique 
after square and the square I, I get or a straight line or a straight stairs like that it can't be achieved like that some curvy lines the geometry of the steps is very important if I take let's say those two that are the biggest one this is a squared okay and overlapping obviously if I want to make them turn I need to make a rotation let's say like that okay and then the next one will be like that sorry they doesn't stand start to stand together this is an extreme way getting into the corner you get a spiral stair like that okay the geometry of the single step is no more squared is some strange polygon okay hope you can see sorry for the camera yes you are seeing it maybe if i took away my fingers it is a better way okay like that the, st the steps tend to turn this is the strand geometry in reality you don't get to the corner you get something like that and then like that having the same pace okay and turning i know i haven't here the same length but th those are some spare parts i still have so let me get the paper if so i was saying sorry i checked the camera so i was saying if uh, A standard way of getting the steps is to get square the steps like that overlapping each and single one on top of the other like that but respecting the geometry of the single steps like that the geometry of uh, turning stairs will be the first step like that the second one exaggerating will be will have this geometry here okay so the step is not squared but the steps are not squared the real step is this one here guys one two three and four okay this is the geometry of the step of the turning step let's forget this i've used it simply to point out uh, the geometry so it's like having this geometry here straight here then go down then go up the next one if i put it right there it, uh, it will have the same but it is starting to turn and so on creating here a circle 
an arc here and also here an arc like that and the steps will turn uh, this is the general theory let me have a sample there I created those little things there and let me explain what I did I will approach the camera let's go with the black background the profile here is squared rectangular okay guys the step from the profile is rectangular the step here it's not rectangular it's some sort of a strange design that is nothing more than what you have just seen here this representation here okay guys sorry a little uh, a little confusing right now so this will be some sort of my step and if i join the second one like that you see that it is starting to rotate okay to getting to do this effect here and to rotate this said you are certainly noticing another aspect here those are my previous steps horizontal and then overlapping for the first time I will go vertically guys this will be my stair and those will be my steps I don't know if you can see but there is something between 0 0.3 centimeters 3 millimeters and 4 millimeters of distance between this step here and this and uh, uh, the deep the deepness of the uh, um, steps will be one centimeter here 1.1 centimeter and 0 0.7 centimeters here from this side here each and single one of the steps so it is the only way to make uh, something rotate in a geometry not very clear right now because I have the single pieces there for the first time I've decided to go vertical is it possible it's not a standard technique because those are like tall buildings that needs to be put together in a certain way avoiding uh, collapse of the buildings it's something that is used nowadays very recently with pre-built buildings otherwise every single one of the steps would have been to have an overlapping horizontally but i want to try to this new technique of using vert i'm crazy i know it's more complicated to go this way is it possible guys is it possible um, i sincerely don't know right now and the steps will be seven centimeters wide okay the width there is seven centimeters enough for two figurines to get up and down the steps may be a little too short but i think they are the, the effect will be uh, perfect uh, i could have used more uh, difference in each and single one of the steps but though that means having some wider steps and some different geometry i want a 90 degree turn okay and almost a 90 degree turn in my stairs i will use 
29 steps to get from 11.6 centimeters, the tallest one, to the 4 millimeters, to the lower step. 29 steps to get the geometry I want. Big amount of gluing I, have, I would uh, I have to do, okay, in the next hours. Uh, not a single stair, but I think I will go with my geometry like right, left, and something in the middle very quickly and roughly done I know like that some sort of two arms hugging you with some surprises in the middle surprises in the middle I've talked too much let me try to go ahead I will use a couple of brushes. I will use some white PVC glue. I I don't do the brand here, but you have seen me using this many many times. It is a wood glue, but it's very well suited also for a styrofoam. A very quick drying time, curing time for wood. Uh, that is uh, more porous around the 10 minutes but uh, I, I've used it plenty of time it's not a toxic it's not a, a corrosive it's nothing perfect glue white PVC glue for the styrofoam and doesn't care if it is a, a extruded styrofoam like in this case or expanded styrofoam let's start working on the stair and guys I have 29 steps here from 11.6 centimeters as I marked there so guys I marked there 11.6 centimeters to 0 0.5 and I will step down 4 millimeters so the second one will be 11.2 centimeters high tall okay each time going down this has been cut not by hand but by with my uh, cutting table and this is expanded uh, sorry extruded styrofoam okay the same i've used for the coastline enough talking let's start working Good, wow, three hours guys, three hours to do this, I had some problem here, in this point here, because it wasn't perfectly vertical, uh, cut the uh, piece of styrofoam, but from the back there, you can see clearly that this is turning. It has a radius of 16.5 centimeters. If uh, I had to complete the circle, I would have get 
a circle of 32 centimeters of diameter. Almost a good circle there. It's a, a good uh, 30. I had to use super glue for the last two pieces there to help get everything stuck, um, fixed together because it hasn't the um, thickness and the um, structure and the solidity and the stiffness to uh, support the glue there. Even here I have some problems so I will use a little of super glue just a little because super glue will melt completely the styrofoam otherwise and I'm going this way just to help oops and the other one detached yes it is the problem with those tiny pieces there Okay, and I will wait this to, uh, to dry, to cure a little more. Three hours for the right side, I will do the exact same thing for the left side. Six hours of work to get these stairs done. Good guys, no, not really good because uh, I'm really intoxicated right now by these. Uh, super glue, the fume of this super glue. Left side is done, six hours of work. Whew. And these will be something like that, with something in the middle. And these will be my stairs. Ooh la la, guys. <coughs> Let's see if they have the same eight. Yes, they have the same height, and if they are at the same level, yes, they are. Okay, guys. Let me clean a little, then I will continue this. I will certainly not be able to complete all the stairs in just one part because it needs to cure, to dry and then something else. But I will continue in, let's say, 15 minutes. I wait for this glue a little bit, uh, a little more to uh, cure, to set. Okay, see you in some minutes and I must clean my hands full of Glue, yes, 15 minutes, guys. All right, guys, a little more than 15 minutes. My intention is to use this piece here up there, guys. Like that, okay? And here, the entry of the ferry wheel. This is uh, still need to, to dry a little more, okay, to cure a little more. This is how much? This is a little more than 50 centimeters. Let's say 51.5 or 52 centimeters, okay? Huge, big. I could leave it like that, obviously. Why not? Adding some little stones all around here to hide 
the vertical lines here, uh, lines here, sorry. Some sort of bricks adding them here and there. Uh, let me let, let me have some bricks. Okay, some bricks. Uh, so I was saying, bricks made with some styrofoam, obviously, like I used it to add to my um, scriptorium last uh, season and etc. Maybe hiding the vertical lines going that way. Okay, etc. Making them disappear. Okay, and maybe I will also do that in the future. But like that is simply new. Yes, you can use it like that. Uh, you can have, I think, some balusters as I did, uh, some handrails as I did in the past. <clears throat> Two seasons ago, I used this kind of, uh, of uh, um, balusters in the handrails. And I can show you what I did. Those are the classic two tacks. These are, those are nothing else than two tacks. Okay, guys, tacks, 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 like that. Corkwood tacks, tacks like that, and use it together like this. You get this one here, and you simply place it on some styrofoam like that, and you get some balusters. Okay, guys, this version. Or like I did last season, this version here of the balusters and then the end rail. Okay, different, the same eight. And to do this, I use uh, some bits <clears throat> and uh, some uh, um, circles there, metal circles. Oh, <coughs> overlapping one to the other and that was the solution last season <clears throat> sorry guys still intoxicated by the fumes of the super glue of the cyanoacrylic uh, glue <clears throat> but I will add certainly some handrails and balusters but I will go differently guys I will go this way this is pure baroque baroque uh, architecture okay pure baroque architecture roundy round, curvy, etc. <clears throat> and I think, let's hope to have glued them together well. Mm, not perfect. Not really perfect, but in this way, guys. Uh, sorry, I have not, per it's not perfect in this corner. Like that. What does this mean? <clears throat> this means adding some elements, some architectural element to the stair with the balusters and the end rails that will be added on top of these walls. This helped me getting a more stable wall. Obviously, <clears throat> I will have maybe the opportunity to add some bricks to it like that okay like that etc etc it's not for today but you are seeing that i have some arcs there am i ruining everything obviously yes as always let me try to get this and then like that and obviously from the other side. So
So a little more than 50 centimeters because I will add 1.1 centimeters from each side here. And this will be like that with some handrails and balusters on top of it. Um, how will I proceed? L let's have a test. If this is uh, suitable. Let me, it's not yet cured, the glue is still too dry a little more. Why those arcs there? Because I want some light under everything here, under this. I want some light, okay? So, uh, I will carve into the styrofoam. Good. Let's go and remove everything and let's see if they stand. Yes. Okay. So let's recap. This will be like this. Here I still need to carve an arc because I want also an arc here. This will be very difficult because I will have no guide at all to carve the uh, arc, but uh, something like that here, passing through with a door uh, on the back there. And I will not be able, as I said, to complete this stair here in uh, just one part. Here is the effect of the two passing uh, arcs there. One here, maybe this is some sewer, I don't know yet, still to the side, but this is pure um, as I was saying, this is pure baroque design, okay guys, this is pure baroque design. Well, I will end this with by talking of a little thing. You certainly remember my new balusters, my new handrails, like those one here, okay? And for the stair there, I made two different things. One and two. Oops. 
and the two. This one is nothing else than one of the support, one of the baluster uh, there. Okay, and this one is cut like this on, on with an angle of 13 15 degrees. Why? Because next time my balusters will go like that and no I'm not using those ones but I'm using some sort of this for the horizontal parts I will go sorry like this etc and make make connections with the uh, <clears throat> sorry with the pillars but here all along those sides here if I use this little balustrade there they will not get vertical they will get normal to this surface here and I certainly don't want. That's why I cut those ones with a certain angle. If I place them, first I will need to clean them, obviously. I still have some supports on them. Like that. And then if I use them in this way, putting them like this maybe I will approach the camera a little more if I'm using them like this they become vertical uh, it's very difficult to show you this but let me do a trick a quick trick I need to clean everyone okay cleaned and then I will use just for testing purpose a piece of double sided tape that I will remove very quickly after the test like that and if I use those one here one here and the other one there Okay, no, not perfectly cleaned. <laughs> like that. And now I can show you in front of the camera like that now they are vertical okay instead of the other one I can use the other one but as it has a flat surface you can see the difference. The middle one is not in line, okay, and it is not vertical. It is oriented on the surface, so it has an angle like that. The other ones are perfectly vertical, almost perfectly vertical with the uh, structure, with the stairs, okay? So I will go that way, but, it is for next time, I think,
because it is a very long process. These stairs will took me a lot of time to do it. Could I have, have I printed it? Obviously, yes. Six hours in total and the stairs will be done. Even with the balusters, even with the end rails and total there. Six hours. Three for each and single one of the sides and uh, the middle, etc. But I should have used the multiple parts because this is the maximum length that I can print. I can print, sorry, on standard 3D printers that have uh, a printing bed of 20, 22 centimeters. So this is the maximum I can get. But instead, I went with this solution that I think may give a good result once finished, but I'm still far from that. Very, very far from that, guys. Final recap of part 7 of the 2023 series, and I'm not starting from the stairs. It's for later, guys. I'm starting from the stairs here for the Viking fishing village. They still need at least two more layers of painting, but I added the stairs. I have three different types of uh, stairs. First one is towards the right. Second one is towards the left, and you can use them to achieve the water like that. Here you can have some uh, rowing boats and you can also have some straight stairs like in this case that fits perfectly into the gap but you can also use straight stairs like that or otherwise like that. These will occupy less space on the, the, on the docks on the platform there okay and this one is taking some extra space but you can also use them like that or you can use them like that but it will be too much space uh, used but maybe you can add something there still need to decide uh, what to use but this one obviously is perfect for this little space there trying to access maybe those are the garage for the rowing boat under the platforms. If they are Vikings, they are fishing people, they need multiple boats and this can be the garage under the platform. Never thought about that guys. So right, left and then to access here <coughs> uh, in part 6 uh, this was a platform with simply one uh, end there. I added the platform with two ends because you can have uh, it like that. So this is access to the main platform support and this is the access to the water, to the ocean, to the sea. And uh, it is like that, guys. So some rocks still need to paint. Obviously, I just... Uh, printed, primed all the stairs and then added a first layer of brown but with some uh, uh, rings to attach the boats there and uh, the some fridges there and then also some rocks there. Still needed to paint the rocks etc. grey and uh, they will get the same color as the platform there once completed like that guys and then also here i can get some support some stairs here to get access to this so they are they can be used and the straight one can be used here to the docks to access the water etc and then another one i added there it there but you can also place it why not like that okay it's up to you guys. Those are modular too, as everything here is modular. Everything quick, dip, dip, oop, too much, guys. I haven't shown you anything. Uh, the sand here has dried perfectly. Now it's unmovable. Even uh, the vegetation there, I've sprayed uh, the, some water and some PVC glue on top of 
them so they are uh, attached to the to the island there etc and the island is getting well guys and so the stairs it's a starting point so one two three four type of stairs here uh, yes and then the big stairs that you will see in just some second i will get you a preview in just a moment let me show you the stage the stage for the poor performers still need to paint the curtain and, and the stuff there the support for the curtains but i've also primed this and one layer of brown obviously when you use a brush you get uh painting everywhere but then i will cover them with other paints uh, all the priming and the first layer of brown is always made with my airbrush now guys let me put the camera in a fixed position next time i think i will reveal what will be there shocking guys with part eight celebrating the second month of work in reality this is the second month part seven is two months from the my starting uh, first part but i will celebrate the eight, part eight with the frightening piece that i will add there is already done already primed I will need to paint it but you are here for that guys and this will be the point of view of the stairs of the new type of stairs so I am too far from the mic right now this is the new type of stairs still need to be completed obviously but this is baroque architecture baroque design guys S with curvy lines much more than uh, medieval or gothic uh, stairs this is like i will argue come into my arms i wanted this i still need to perfect the passage under the arcs Maybe I will use some of my ceramic powder to get a perfect um, uh, wall inside. But now I have too many grooves into the walls. I don't like them. But it's time consuming, guys. Working with styrofoam is certainly time consuming. Much more than everything else. Let me approach the, the stairs a little more. Say goodbye to the park it's starting to get some space and by the way i added some more styrofoam under the whoosh whoosh i will get some more styrofoam uh, i i added some more styrofoam in the under the um fairy wheel next time this point of view will never be the same and let's go a little closer like this hope you can hear me i'm using a directional mic right now i'm not using my uh, wi-fi mic uh, and uh, maybe uh, it sounds very awful but right now i added uh, some little gray platform on uh, the stairs because the stairs are 11.6 11 uh, 11 uh, centimeters high uh, in uh, in height and uh, the ferry wheel is at 12 centimeters so those four more uh, millimeters will help me get to the right level it's uh, not quite a good point of view right now because it still miss something it still miss the the arc here in plain middle there I will have a big giant uh, arc and then some columns on the side, some design around the other arcs and then the balusters and the 
and rails. Still, still far from being finished, as always are my uh, stairs, never completed in just one part. And about the balusters I was talking before. Those one are the one that are inclined, that are cut at 15 degrees in order to get vertical with the steps once you glue them together. Uh, sorry, the, the tree, the terrifying tree is blocking the view. This one is not vertical at 90 degrees with the steps because it's the same as those one. Uh, simple elements of my balusters and uh, they are not fitted to go on uh, steepness like this one. But those will fit. And they have also an inclination on the other side to have the and rails coming on top of them like that. Now I have uh, placed them with some double-sided tape. Sorry guys, a little problem with the camera. I was saying I've placed them there with some double-sided tape, but uh, uh, I will remove them once I will continue this part with the uh, uh, rails and the other balusters, etc. And I will also connect to the two lateral side uh, one to the other. This one is better fitted. This one has very good steps there. And this is the second one I made. Some gaps there in to the other side there. You have some gaps here in the stairs there that I have filled with some uh, epoxy uh, glue, five minute glue but once painted they will disappear and here i have some space there for some trees some vegetation here not very tall otherwise i will uh, cover uh, the fairy wheel that is right here guys the fairy wheel okay so guys the fairy wheel is there but i will add uh, certainly something there and I have added some more styrofoam here. I have added some more styrofoam and I went with this space here in order to not have the fairy wheel there, to not have the fairy wheel there, but a little um, towards the end of the layout to have space for some other buildings. I will have uh, mo much more buildings there, there, and maybe I will have also my scriptorium and adding a new piece to that little section, but I don't know yet. Uh, I will need to continue with the stairs next time. I don't know if I can show you what will be to get here. Okay, so it is a good way of doing that. I will need to uh, use my certainly as I said use my um, my ceramic powder to get a very smooth walls but this is a good point of view I think and then the sewers that are here still need to find something there sorry no motor at all not gimbal right now I'm not using a gimbal but I simulated and the Greta is there waiting to ride the fairy wheel. Oof, guys, it has been very long. Six, ten, there are between ten and fifteen hours of work just for the stairs, guys. Just for this stair, the, yeah, without counting the modeling time I spent for the lateral side etc i've uh, decided to go with this stair here on uh, wednesday i try some geometry on my uh, computer then i thought why not it is possible to do without 3d printing everything so i went there a and m more than that it is too big to 3d print in a single piece multiple play pieces yes and then the lateral was a good addition. It is pure Baroque. Without the lateral uh, side there, without the support there, it's not Baroque. This is pure Baroque. Otherwise, I will simply add the, the baluster on the steps there. Seven centimeters uh, wide stair. What else, guys? 
uh, I've already told you about those little things. The stairs are there. I will certainly add something more next time. In it, it's not too much, but the stairs really, it's taking so long to build that. And this week I hadn't had much time to work on my project. Unfortunately, I had a problem at work to be that needed to be solved and so I went uh, with some strange uh, scheduling time this past week today is Sunday so the week is over and right now is pouring so much water I still haven't a name for the head there and maybe you haven't seen correctly the eye guys but this is with the bear, bear, um, beard etc and the fridge on top of it is like that and the eye is still a little red it has been decolored by the water but this is the first time I go this close to my head there so guys this is the end of the final recap of part 7. Trying to add an almost decent piece to your Christmas village will always be time consuming, extremely time consuming. I think I will need at least three more parts to complete it. And I'm still worried about the space because, guys, I added those 20 more centimeters in the far left side because for the other Lemax buildings, I will have a little space here, this space here, nothing here because I have all the performers and all the park. Then the big <coughs> empty space between the park and the stairs and then the other level here to one more level there and two more level here by the way guys i think that north pole will be this side up uh, on top of everything this season but it's still uh, there here in my mind i was thinking why not uh, having my scriptorium from last season and put it on this level here but it will mean getting these uh, space here 30 centimeters at least the equivalent of 200 alpha lemax building just for the scriptorium because i had the intention as i said even during last season to add some more buildings to the section of the scriptorium enlarging it but this will mean having just this space here and that space there for the old others uh, Lemax buildings uh, too narrow space too little space I think and I'm worried guys let's switch because I have to switch to the other camera guys I don't know what you think guys but there will be no space at all for my Lemax collection this season but I will try to find some more space for the uh, Lemax collection. And from that view there, I don't know if it is a good point of view, the new stairs. Uh, maybe it's a little exaggerated as I always be, as I will always be exaggerated, but this is Baroque. I love Baroque. <laughs> I love all type of architecture, guys. I love all of them. I also love history. I have plenty of book of history down there. I love the Empire, the, the Roman Empire time. Guys, history is very good for knowing the present, guys. I know it's rhetoric, guys, but I'm so dumb right now. And the stairs here, guys, the stairs I added there, it's a last minute design. This morning they were still printing all of them and then in the last hour I primed them and painted them very quickly. 
and I will add so much more things to the fishing village, but it is taking so much space. If I needed to sacrifice some more Lemax buildings, and I will try not. And just remember that I will have, it's mandatory to add a new building from each, se from each season collection from Lemax. So I will need to go buy a new um, building and then place it somewhere there. Little worried, I will pass the next uh, three days planning something to reconciliate my Lemax collection. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, I'm out of my mind as always to have decided to go with these 50 centimeter stairs. Maybe you will find me not adequate for this Christmas village. I don't know guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing once again my always awful English and see you next time for part 8. Bye guys.